All right, so tonight we are going to water bath can with our new electric carry canner. Uh, what we got here is um, sauerkraut that we made a couple weeks ago. Nothing fancy, just gonna pack this bad boy up. Got the rack in there. We're gonna load four. And you can see that's pretty close. When I cover this in water, Really hamming it up, Brody. So, I don't know if you can see that. They're not fully covered, but I don't got much, much room. room. Maybe a little bit more. So I have major reservations, and I think that this thing is definitely going to boil over somehow. So it looks funny, but I got it in the sink. Alrighty, so the ball recipe for sauerkraut, uh, raw packed, is 25 minutes, and then I need to add elevation into that, so I'm going to add 10 minutes to that. So I am doing water bath for 35. Water bath steam. And then we are going to add 35. Five. Next press start. All right, so this is gonna rotate until it begins to boil. Um, that'll probably take 20 to 25 minutes. And then we'll see consistent steam coming out from the exhaust. And then we're gonna press start again when there's constant steam is seen. And then this will activate the timer. A few moments later. Let's see how this works. Oh, wow, look at that. That's the water is still in there. That's pretty interesting. The water's actually on top of them now. Okay, so I was being over cautious, thinking that it would boil over. It actually worked perfectly fine. Now, I am going to try the low canning setting. So I only need to put four cups of water in here. So let's try a batch of those. Okay, so the way that we did this before was water bath canning. Now, in here, it also mentions the low pressure canning. So I guess it's somewhere in between high pressure canning and a water bath. And it mentions... Ideal for jams, jellies, or pickled vegetables. So this is perfect. It's going to use a lot less water. So let's give this a try. Similar, same sauerkraut. Rack at the bottom. Jars in. Four cups of water. So everything above this is canning, so water bath and pressure. Everything below this is cooking. So what we're going to do is low. I'm going to put in the time. Sauerkraut's tw sauerkraut is 25, but since I'm at altitude, it's going to be 35. All right. Then uh, let's close this bad boy. So it's like exhaust. And start. Next, we're just going to have to wait until we get steam coming out of the top, and then we're going to rotate that valve. Alright, so the machine just beeped. 
So I'm going to move this to airtight. And then that is going to take down. It already has. It started at uh, 10. And then once the internal pressure has been reached, the 35 minutes will start counting down. And actually, I will just leave this all night long. I won't even touch it because I'll let it cool down. It'll take some time for that mechanism to actually unlock after the 35 minutes. So I'm just going to set this, forget about it, open it up tomorrow morning, and then store the cans. All right, so it's the next day. Let's just pop this bad boy open. Alrighty, so I would say if you are doing quartz, that instead of doing water bath, that you just do low. It'll be a lot simpler with water. You see how little that we used. There you go. There is the carry all in one canner. I'm freaking loving this thing. Okay, so now I have to warn you, the National Center for Home Food Preservation, NCHFP, which is an offshoot of the USDA, posted an announcement warning consumers against using digital multi-cookers for pressure canning, even if they advertise that it's able to do so. Now, I really hope this isn't some kind of fear, uncertainty, and doubt tactic used by bigger companies in order to put those competitors at a disadvantage. And I say this because the NCHFP specifically okays only the balls version of the canner and only for water bath canning. And I know that there is probably a lot of models out there and how do you test every different version to ensure that they're safe? I'm all for more testing and sharing results with the public. Hell, I would be willing to help with that. I mean, my background is engineering and I've built a few big billion dollar power plants and oil refineries, so I might know a thing or two about temperature and pressure. But out of all of the electric canners out there, I love this carry. And it's the only canner that I know of that you can adjust the weights on it. For specifically for people like me that are out at altitude. So everybody, this is just my take. Now I have to warn you, if you use this thing, you're probably going to die if you listen to them.